positioning. Like, this is just power. And if they don't, like, because if somebody can come spend time with you for an hour, like you have an hour group where you're showing people what you do, whether it's production, marketing, whatever, and they spend that hour, now they trust you, that hour was power to convert them later down the road or somebody they know, like they can start trusting you. So it's all power. So we want you to be able to upgrade and use this power source as best possible, right? That's what you want to do. So we're going to continue to talk about why this is so important, why you need this, and why it's also important to have a back-end offer. I mean, a back-end brand to pour this into. Like, when you when you get people that are interested and they spent time with you to now have something to offer to them on the other side. So to make them both work, right? So this is kind of building on what Russell Brunson was talking about, but it's kind of like actually using it, not just with ClickFunnels, not just, just using it, period, just in your daily life. Like having a direct response offer to them, no matter what it is, they're using that. So we're going to get into that part. Um, that's the next part we need to. So stay tuned. We're going to get into that. And yes, like they both, they live together. They're like your, look at them like your right hand and left hand. You got both your hands. Now you can, you know, hold a steering wheel, change gears on a manual transmission. But yeah, they both work together. So we're going to get into that. Stay tuned. Yes, James Lee Love Show. Let's go. All right. So after you have that direct response offer locked in, you're working that, right? That is working. From there, then you lead your target audience, right? Because we all need a target audience. I've talked about that in previous videos. Talk about that on Brands Experts podcast. I'll always go over that. So if you need information on that, you know where to go to. You need a target audience, period. You're not talking to everybody. I don't care if you're just a solo brand. You need a target audience, period. That just, you got to look at it like TV. You're on TV. Your channel, channel seven is, they have sports, they have a few other things, news, but you know what you're getting. You go on MTV, you know what you're getting, reality TV, whatever else. So same thing with your brand. So after they're there, they're there enjoying you, enjoying your brand, loving what you're doing, right? With the free situation from there. Now they're in, they like you, they like what you're doing. Now that's where they're in your brand. That's where they're seeing the testimonials. That's where they're in opt-in pages to purchase or join groups or actually get the offers that you're talking about from that direct response offer. Because if they're busy, like they got that direct response, and then they come back in a week, in a month, people's time is valuable. People are traveling. People are doing different things. And now they get to come back to you. Cool, now they're back. When they're back, now is the point where now they already have that free offer. And what's cool is they can get multiple direct response. Like you can you you can always go back to that, like direct response again, direct response again. That's what Instagram is. I'm excuse me, YouTube is right. Multiple direct response offers. Free video after free video after free video. And of course, you can have your brand offer inside of there. Like, but you keep going with direct response as much as possible to show people your value, to show your target audience your value. Then you move them over to your brand offers, right? Because it's difficult to convert somebody, especially when you're talking about high ticket. That's the cream of the crop of business is high ticket. What do you mean high ticket? 3,500 to 10,000 plus and over. Because what that does. When you have a high ticket offer, it puts you in a position to where you're not just going in circles and headaches and headaches trying to convert something or trying to make something work that's built off of your sweat and you're being tired. It's more built off of this is the outcome that you're looking for. This is what we're able to provide to you. That's much better because the thing is, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to hit on this a little bit and get. And continue on the brand part but you have to look at it the better the outcome the better off everybody is because when you're positioning for a better outcome here's what ends up happening 
you're looking for a better outcome. That's the main thing that you're looking for. Like, I need a better outcome for my brand, period, whatever the case. And say the offer is $3,500. If the brand is looking to make, let's say, $200,000 that year, right? They have good goals. They understand what's going on. They're looking to delegate jobs, marketing jobs to this company. And they're making bets. Like, they're trying to figure out what, what works, what doesn't work. And if you're sitting there operating off of fear, thinking, well, 3500 is a lot or 5000 is a lot. You're, you're playing the wrong game, right? Because $25,000 offers converted works a lot better for you, works a lot better for them if they removed the job from themselves. Like they took care, they got rid of that marketing job and added it for you. And now you're able to make content, get whatever it is, videos on their YouTube, get their landing page straight, get the offer that they need on their landing page get their opt-ins situated to their emails whatever it is that's better for them because that removed the job now whenever they use that web page they have their opt-ins they have everything going on there they're able to convert better like it's just a better streamlined system okay like to have a high ticket offer no matter the business i don't care if you're just selling food you need five thousand dollar catering offer why? Because it just helps your brand run more smooth, you to show, you know, how you can over deliver all that stuff. Like all that stuff is important and we want you positioned for that. So now that they have the direct response and that's something you want to do every day. That's what YouTube is. It's direct response marketing. Like if you're using it right, like you're having a place where they go an opt in page where they're going to get more, you know, higher level for exchange information. Your information is what separates your brand, right? Your information, you know, your data, right? Your clients that you're delivering information to, right? That's your brand, right? not your social media page. That's a piece of it, small piece. 